Imagine never running out of storage again. No more waiting hours to transfer files. And no more digging through folders just to get that one B-roll shot. Meet the Ugreen NAS Sync DXP4800 Plus. And with World Backup Day coming soon, you can snag 20% off with the link in the description or pinned comment, so head down there and check it out. And real quick, this video is sponsored by Ugreen, and I just wanna say thank you to them for making a NAS that's actually easy to set up and use. All right, now let's get into it. So why am I even sitting here promoting a NAS to you guys when I'm usually talking about cameras and tech and stuff like that? Well, that's because in 2022, I lost a year's worth of work because I waited too long to invest in a NAS system. This is not a sponsored story. This really happened to me and it's a huge bummer. I lost a lot of personal files, a lot of client files that I cannot get back ever. So now whenever I have the opportunity to talk about a quality NAS setup and share it with you guys and try to encourage you to hop on the NAS train, I'm gonna take it. So if you don't want to have this massive headache down the road, because hard drives and cards do fail at some point, just invest in a NAS when you can before you make the mistake that I made. Please save yourself the pain. I think there's a lot of fear around the idea of a NAS and how complicated things might be. So let's just go to an unboxing and setup segment so you can see that a complete idiot like myself can set this thing up within a day. Ooh, this is kind of sexy, what the heck? Accessories, what do we have here? Got some cat cables. Oh, oh gosh. Careful when opening that bag, the world's tiniest screws are in there. Power erasers. Just kidding guys, I know it's a fruit roll up. It comes with this little key here to open the trays. Unlocked, pull. That's sick. So you're just gonna pull this out, hard drive goes in here. You got four of these four terabiters around here. What the heck, that's a good design right there. Just clamps in, that's really cool. There's just this little press button here. That's what pulls out so you can put the hard drive in and clamps back down on it. You gotta make sure it clicks into place though, like that. Reloading. Oh, this is gonna be so satisfying, guys. All right, folks, we are going to see how simple it is to just set this NAS up on my network. I just plugged it into LAN, and we're gonna see what happens. There is a solid white light on the Ugreen NAS back there, which means it is connected to internet, so thank God that's working. So to see if this is working correctly, I'm gonna find.ugnas.com. Um, it's not initialized, that makes sense because we just set this thing up and plugged it in, but that showed up right away, thank God. The device name, let's see, you goblin. So we gotta create an account, obviously. I'm gonna do the recommended settings because I'm not a master of anything like this. There's a guy named Rex on YouTube. This guy is absolutely incredible. I learned a lot from him. So for me, since I'm kind of a noob with this stuff, but I've set up one before, I'm just gonna go with the recommended settings. I'm gonna trust it. So far the user interface is actually very pretty in this. Something about this kind of a setup with NAS is different RAID setups, which basically just means how much hard drive redundancy you have in case a hard drive fails. There's a lot of different RAID setups. I like to set my NASes up where one hard drive can totally fail and I'll lose absolutely no files. Cool, this is just gonna guide us through, I love that. So storage pool and volume, this is very important. All right, we're gonna create a storage pool. All that means is like how we're setting up the volume. I like to just make the biggest pool as possible with that redundancy in the RAID. So I'm gonna do RAID 5, which I explained earlier. If a single hard drive gets damaged, the data on that hard drive is restorable. Hard disk test, enabling hard drive test can reduce data error risk, but may slow down storage speed. I'm actually going to do that. I want it to be as safe as possible. So yeah, you can see we're gonna get about 10.8 terabytes total storage. Gonna format it in performance here. I'm gonna set prioritize to reading and writing just for quickness, and I'm gonna have quick repair turned on. And this does have M.2 slots. I don't have any M.2 SSDs in here, but with M.2s, they're basically tiny, skinny little SSDs that you can put in here as a cache system that will make retrieving files quicker, or you could set that up as an SSD that you could edit off of as well. They're not necessary, but they can be helpful. This NAS can hold up to 112 terabytes, depending on the hard drives you put in it. That's 39 million selfies or 76,000 copies of Spider-Man 2, the greatest film of all time. Are you serious? Also, the transfer speeds are absolutely bonkers. You can get up to 1,250 megabits per second, which means you could download a terabyte of footage 
footage in just about 20 minutes. Let's take a quick look at the apps because basically your NAS is a computer. It doesn't function as like a computer that you're gonna edit off of, but it does have its own OS and everything. That's what we're looking at here. You access it through your IP address. So these are the different apps we have access to that are within the Ugreen OS. If you click on App Center, you can go into even more options here. So like you can do a Photos app which I think will be kind of cool to test out. So if you do want to sync up your files from this NAS to something like Backblaze or like a external cloud storage solution, you can download sync and backup here. So this is telling me about remote access and it's another amazing feature about a NAS setup is you can access your NAS from anywhere in the world with your IP address. Let's talk about the multi-user sharing, which is actually kind of wild and I definitely want to try it out. Let's say you're shooting outdoors. Your team can actually start editing the footage remotely in real time, you just send them a link and they can instantly start accessing your files. One thing I wanna test out is this AI photo album assistant. Paste all of my 2025 photos in here. And I'm gonna see how this works. Welcome to photos, get started. AI settings, people recognition, update. Oh my gosh, what? Personal library, text recognition, yes. Similar duplicate photo recognition. So if you guys are curious and you want the most organization possible with the least effort possible, check out these AI settings. I think this could be pretty wild. You could just search for dog, car, butt cheeks, pretty much anything, and this AI assistant will be able to pull up the corresponding photos for you so you can easily access them. Another great feature is that this NAS and the software inside of it supports multiple raw formats. There's a Nikon raw pick. Let's do a Fuji. Lumix. I'm a Sigma male. DNG as well. I mean, that's four different formats right there. That's a horrible photo, but I can see it. There's the Nikon, that is the Fuji, and that is the Lumix photo. I can see all four of those raws. Just nice handy feature. You don't always wanna have to download your photos, throw them into Photoshop or Lightroom to see what it was. One of my favorite features about this NAS is the fact that it just has an SD card reader on the front. It's so convenient. Usually I'm plugging in external SD card readers and I have to worry about transfer speeds of my cables, the readers themselves, which USB port I'm plugging them into in my computer. This just has it built right in, so you can just pop it in the front, transfer your footage onto your NAS, you're good to go. Imagine you're on a work trip, like I'm gonna be going to NAB soon, let me know if you'll be there. Let's say I forgot to grab footage off my FX30 and I'm working on the edit while I'm in Vegas. I could call my wife Lauren and have her plug my SD card into the slot on my NAS, connect to my NAS from any internet browser because I have my IP address and password, and then I could just download my footage wherever I'm at in the world as long as I have internet. I hope this takes away some of the fear of NAS setup and complication because it's really not hard at all, especially with Ugreen's OS. It just guides you through the process basically automatically. And with World Backup Day coming soon, please don't be an idiot like me. Just click the links, get 20% off your order and save yourself the pain in the future. I promise you hard drives fail. It happened to me, it can happen to you. Don't risk it, please stop betting on it. So make sure to text me when you get home so I know you're safe and thank you to Ugreen for sponsoring today's video. Support on Patreon to get your names on the end of my videos, just like these incredibly attractive humans over here. You also get access to all my digital assets, past and future, and entry into monthly quality gear giveaway live streams. Follow me on Instagram for short and dumb stuff like this. Join our Discord server for nerdy tech friends. And remember that you guys are loved much more than you might know. You're amazing. God bless you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.